Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Praveen Kumar Shriram. I am a Microsoft Certified Trainer, author, currently working as a Solutions Architect in Azure. Today we are going to learn about Logic Apps, specifically the standard version of Logic App. So before we get started, let's understand what are the two different types of Logic App that we can work with in Azure. Azure initially had support only to consumption based logic app. In the recent years, they started supporting standard based logic app as well. So, let's understand the difference between consumption and standard logic apps. So, consumption based logic apps are also called as multi tenant logic apps, whereas standard they are called as single tenant logic app. In consumption, we can have only one workflow. However, in standard, we can have multiple workflows. A workflow is nothing but a set of steps. In case if you have a requirement wherein you want a step by step process, wherein each step connects to different component or different service, in such case, we can use logic apps. For example, let's say every day you receive so many emails. And if at all an email contains an attachment, you want to move that to maybe uh, OneDrive. So here there are two components. Email is one component. The other one is OneDrive. So monitoring the emails is one step. If at all there is an attachment, then you want to move that to OneDrive. So here we are using two different services. Email is one service and OneDrive is other service. So you want to leverage the functionality of these two services, then definitely Logic App is something that you can use because it's a workflow that uses two different services. And Logic App is something where you don't need to write any line of code. It's based on GUI. All you need is drag and drop the different services. These are called as connectors. Okay. So now in consumption. Apart from the default ones, creating custom connectors is not straightforward. However, standard supports an ecosystem for creating custom connectors and it's pretty straightforward. And in consumption plan, support for virtual networks and private endpoints is not possible. However, in standard, it's very straightforward to work with net virtual networks connected to the logic app. And creation of private endpoints is also possible. Let's now understand the architecture of logic apps. The very first step when you want to work with logic app is creation of app service plan. If you remember, in the initial videos, we discussed about app service plan while we are working with web apps. So here, logic app is also very similar. The first step is creation of app service plan. And logic app depends on storage account. So definitely before we need to before we create logic app, we need to create storage account, which is mandatory. And optionally, we can create application settings. Creation of application settings is optional. It is used for pushing telemetry data. But creation of storage account is mandatory. Because by design, Logic App uses storage account to store all the diagnostic information. And of course, it also uses it to store uh, the workflow based code. And once all these three are created, then we can create Logic App. Now, Logic App needs to store some, store some configuration information like storing the connection string of storage account. All this is done via application settings. Similarly, Logic App stores instrumentation key of application insights. Again, one more app settings. And finally, within storage account, we need to create a file share and applications insights must be connected to log analytics workspace. That's all logic app standard must be created. In the upcoming video, 
we are going to create all these components using bicep that's it for this video if you have any feedback please feel free to provide your feedback in the comment section thank you i'll see you in next video